Wild Wrecks, Crazy Crashes, Instant Justice, and Good Deeds Gone Wrong. As usual, we've got 20 fresh dashcam videos for you with the backstory you won't get anywhere else, all sent to us by the drivers who captured them. Jake was driving his Subaru WRX when the driver of a Cadillac Escalade pulled in front of him, forcing Jake into a T-bone collision. It sure looks like the Cadillac driver ran a red light, but intended to go all the way across the road and turn left. If only we could take a look at this collision from another angle. As it turns out, we can. The driver of a Tesla captured the incident on Tesla cam and shared it with Jake, and that turned out to be a lifesaver. Jake told us the Escalade driver was working hard to spin the story. The combination of Jake's dash cam footage and the Tesla cam footage cleared Jake and proved the Cadillac driver fully responsible for the destruction of Jake's brand new Subaru, but that's not all. The insurance settlement actually paid for Jake's new Tesla Model 3 to replace his WRX. He told us he's happy to be a part of the Tesla gang now. Talk about an upgrade. This emitter was headed to a friend's house when an SUV driver turned out onto the road in front of his 99 Accord. Even though he slammed on the brakes, he was unable to avoid T-boning the SUV. Thankfully, nobody was seriously injured in the impact. When police arrived, they found the SUV driver completely responsible. Sadly, the Honda Accord Coupe our submitter had been restoring was totaled in the collision, but he used the insurance settlement to replace it with a newer Accord instead. Alex was taking some friends visiting from out of town back to their hotel after dinner. Suddenly, he noticed a Dodge Charger speeding up behind him, followed closely by a Nissan Murano and another car. Holy shit, that's an unmarked Camaro. Oh no, this is a, this is a chase. This is a chase. Out of nowhere, an unmarked Chevy Camaro took off in pursuit, followed by a marked Dodge Charger. That's double instant justice. Alex and his friends shared a good laugh at the speeder's expense. By the way, Alex sent us the video we used as the lead clip in episode 82 when he got rear-ended after stopping for a fallen tree. His car was sadly totaled in that collision and he replaced it with a Volvo S60. He also told us he replaced his dash cam with one of the models we recommend and the difference is clear. Check the description if you need a dash cam for your ride. Edward's brother was borrowing his car and entered an intersection to make a left turn before yielding for oncoming traffic. When the lights turned red, he had the right of way and went to complete his turn. An oncoming driver ran their red light and T-boned Edward's Toyota Matrix. Thankfully, nobody was injured, but his car was totaled. Edward told us his brother was nearly ruled responsible for the collision and the only thing that gave them the victory in the insurance battle was the dash cam footage. He was awarded an insurance settlement of nearly 9,000 US dollars. Basu was driving his Toyota Camry when he watched a driver up ahead of him suddenly veer off the road and drive into a ditch. Basu doesn't know what happened, but he suspects the driver may have been impaired. What do you think? Considering the vehicle continued along the same curve as before, could the driver have just been distracted? The subject of this next video was almost certainly distracted. Nafi is an Uber driver who was transporting a rider when they both watched a Jeep in the exit lane nearly rear-end another one. Considering the Jeep was only about a car length away from the one ahead of it when the driver hit the brakes, it really seems like the driver was not paying attention. Nafi told us that he and his rider were both shocked. Kodiak was unable to avoid T-boning a car that pulled across the road in front of him while he was going over 50 miles per hour. Kodiak told us the driver of the other car left in a helicopter after both vehicles were totaled by the brutal impact. Her insurance provider paid Kodiak $5,500 US dollars for his totaled Honda Accord. 
Jared was headed to the airport when he watched a dump truck cut across multiple lanes to avoid taking a highway exit. Suddenly, a semi-driver began merging onto the road from the shoulder, but watch what happened next. Jared merged left to go around the slow-moving semi, but the trucker continued to cross his lane, forcing him to a stop as the truck crossed the gore point to get back on the highway. Jared told us he was nearly rear-ended as well. Speaking of downed trees, Gio got stopped by one on his way home and had turned around and stopped to find another route. Suddenly, an SUV went driving past him, but the driver didn't notice the tree until it was too late. Gio estimates the Ford Edge hit the tree at about 35 miles per hour. He made sure the occupants were unharmed before calling 911 and police came and blocked off the road. In spite of the complication, he was able to get safely home. Gio told us he got his two-channel dash cam just two weeks before this happened after being inspired to get one from watching Wham Bam videos. Cool. Pete and Jen spotted a white Mazda 3 suddenly lose control and spin across a busy highway at 75 miles per hour. The Mazda came way too close to a Nissan Altima and a semi truck before ending up facing the right direction on the shoulder. Yikes! Thankfully, no collisions occurred. Joshua was waiting for his fast food order to be delivered when he watched a sedan pull into traffic and get T-boned by a pickup truck. A police officer who had been at the gas station across the street witnessed the collision and immediately responded. Joshua told us, don't speed in the rain and take advantage of lights when making unprotected left turns. Chris's father was driving his Jeep Cherokee when he encountered yet another Tesla behaving badly. That, that Tesla man can't drive. That, that Tesla man can't drive. A Model 3 driver pulled out in front of Chris's dad, forcing him to slam on the brakes and nearly causing him to be rear-ended. Chris told us he and his twin brother Thomas love our videos. Speaking of Tesla's behaving badly, we've just added some new items to our merch store, including these new hoodies, mugs, and t-shirts. Go grab one for that one Tesla driver you know. You know who they are. Sean had his teenage children with him in his Ford F-250 when they watched an SUV driver run a red light and cause a collision involving two other vehicles. Oh. Oh. Sean checked on the SUV driver and told us she didn't seem injured. She claimed to have night blindness and didn't know what had happened, but Sean doesn't know how she missed seeing the red light. He told us he suspects two of the involved vehicles were totaled. We know this will trigger the haters, but Sean also said he can't wait to upgrade his F-250 to a Cybertruck so he can send us some gnarly Tesla cam videos. Speaking of Cybertrucks, we're working on a special Cybertruck sighting episode, so if you've spotted any in the wild, use the submission link below to send them in. This emitter was driving down a highway at about 1 a.m. when he watched a trucker almost continue into a concrete barrier as the highway started to curve. We don't know if the trucker was distracted or sleepy, but either way, we're glad he avoided that collision. Remember, if you're tired, stop and rest. No matter what's on the line, it's not worth more than your life. Ryan was approaching an intersection when he watched a white Kia Soul make an unprotected left turn and get T-boned by an SUV coming the other way. For context, the lights for both drivers turned yellow halfway through the Kia Soul's left turn, and it didn't turn red until after the collision had occurred. Ryan stopped and called 911 and told us the Kia driver was found liable. Kevin was charging his Mercedes Evito when the driver of the vehicle next to him got violently frustrated with the charging station. Ow. 
after chucking the charging plug at the station and breaking the screen, Kevin told us the driver got in his car and left. In spite of the shattered display, Kevin told us the station was still working. While violence may not have been the most healthy response, anyone who has had to use poorly designed public charging stations can understand the guy's frustration. Remember in the last episode when we told you that leaving a gap for crossing traffic when you have the right-of-way isn't courteous, it's dangerous? We knew it wouldn't take long for us to get another example. 911. Call 911. A Kia Telluride driver turned left through a gap and was T-boned by a Nissan Altima with the right-of-way. Kagan stopped and checked on the drivers while calling 911, then kept everyone calm until first responders arrived. He also gave copies of his dashcam footage to both drivers, which we're sure the Ultima driver appreciated. Remember, when you have the right of way, stopping for other drivers creates a dangerous situation. Drew was driving when he watched a longboarder skate into traffic right in front of a pickup truck going 40 miles per hour. After stumbling off his board, the skater stopped to pick it up further endangering himself in an attempt to rescue his longboard. Thankfully, both Drew and the pickup driver were paying attention and managed to stop in time. Saeed was headed to breakfast with his mother one morning when he pulled up behind a Lexus SUV at a traffic light. When the light turned green, the SUV proceeded, but a red light runner suddenly sped across in front of them. We wish that close call was the end of the story, but sadly, it's not. Even though the light was still green, the Lexus driver then reversed into Saeed's Hyundai Elantra. Saeed told us traffic behind him left him with no option but to honk, which had no effect. Thankfully, the damage was minor, and both drivers agreed not to pursue insurance claims. After all those frustrating videos of dumb drivers, we wanted to leave you with something that makes you feel good. Will was in traffic when he spotted the driver behind him giving away his coat to a homeless man. Now, we normally don't enjoy seeing videos of people filming themselves being generous, but this guy didn't do that at all. He just drove away, having no idea his random act of kindness had been recorded. Will told us he hopes the guy sees this video and knows God loves him. He also told us he can't wait to upgrade his Toyota Tundra to, you guessed it, a Cybertruck. Thanks for the awesome submission, Will. Wham, bam, we got a Patreon, man. Please support the show.